Hello everyone, I'm Jenny Slate, and I am here to answer some of your questions about phone etiquette. I added my crush on Snapchat and he didn't add me back. My sister did and he added her back and watched her story. What the heck? Uh, what the heck indeed, Anonymous from Cora. Let me be honest, I don't get what Snapchat is and I don't use it. I thought that it was for people sending pictures of their penises and their vaginas and their titties. So I don't use that because I don't do that. Like if I'm gonna be real, and it's cool to be real, it seems like he likes your sister. Why do I always feel the need slash want to be texting slash talking to someone if I'm not? I almost get a sense of loneliness or boredom and I don't really know what to do with myself. How can I stop feeling this way? This is by Soladoloed on Reddit. For me, I experience this very deeply and I feel like there's a little hole of loneliness inside of myself that for most of my life, I have been pulling people in in order to fill it up. And now I realize that what you need to do is plant the seed of yourself deep in your hole <laughs> and grow up out of it like a tree. And then you can just like be in the world like this. And then you're just like always like this, whether or not you're alone or with other people. Just like fill your hole. <laughs> <laughs> Why do people even say hello anymore if they have caller ID and can just be like, hey, derp, which is a word that obviously I don't know what it is. And I, I, I'm sorry, I just don't know what it is. Okay, and this is by I Can't Spell on Reddit. You know why I think they do that? Because I think that it is a fundamental and simple pleasure to greet people. And hopefully we're not all so disgusting by this point that we just like computer each other all the time. I think it's nice to say, hey, derp. Although I don't say that. I'm like, hi, Diane. <laughs> How do I make a collect call? This is from Anonymous from Cora. When I was in high school, the way that my mom would know to pick me up from speech team and acapella, okay, is that I would use a payphone and I would dial 1-800-COLLECT, which is the number, when they would be like, please say who's calling. I would go, Jenny at the front of school! And then she would deny the call and then I would know, like we're on like a four minute countdown to her coming to get me. And no one would say goodbye to me because I didn't have any friends. <laughs> Life advice. If you call your friend and she talks bad about your best friend, not knowing that you called your best friend and put it on three-way and made your best friend put it on mute just so that your best friend could hear what the friend is saying about her, what kind of friend does that make you? Asks Anonymous from Cora. Who did what to who? You called someone else and acted like the... It seems like you all need to take a break from each other. That move of calling one friend, putting them on like silent, and then calling the other girl and being like, Brittany, what do you feel about Alexis? And then that girl obviously like rips on the other one. That's for rude people. Don't do it. And if someone does it to you, they're garbage. No one ever did it to me. They were mean to my face. It was the 90s. Always remember that texting is not dating. It's texting. This might be a hard pill to swallow, but if your whole relationship is based on a screen, you're not dating. That's what Madison Moore said on in or on Thought Catalog. Yeah, that's true. But you know, here's the weird thing is like you can get so intimate with people over text and not just because you send them like a picture of your butt and you're like, this is my butt. Like, it's not that. It's that like you just don't have to feel as nervous as you feel face to face. You don't have to be like, I think my face is still, but like I'm actually making a lot of faces and they're seeing them. You can feel more intimate and like you have something, but um, you know, uh, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you are doing something that requires both hands to be available, you do not need a Bluetooth earpiece. This is what Dark Cross on Reddit said. If a guy showed up with a Bluetooth earpiece in, first of all, immediately I would be like, you're not gonna do it for me if it's about sex, <laughs> okay? <laughs> you don't need that right now. The like little thing that looks like a little shark tooth. Ugh, my God, you don't know what's going on. You don't know what's going on. You're not a computer, take it off of yourself. I know that LOL is not as meaningful as LOL, LOL, or LOL, which is all caps. Madison Moore said that again. Madison Moore from Thought Catalog. Those mean different things. If someone says LOL and it's just LOL, I feel like they're like, LOL, LOL, LOL is like, that's hilarious. LOL in all caps is surprise. <laughs> you know, the general rules for behavior are the ones that still stand. P. 
people need their own personal space. That's number one. Number two, don't do something over a phone that you wouldn't do in real life because it's gonna have weird consequences. And number three, you can put it down. There's a whole world out there. There's a whole world out there. Hey guys, I like that you have this little phone here. Right?